Okay, next we're gonna touch up a female vocal. The artist that we're working on, her name is Montana and you've seen her on the vlogs before. If you watch the vlogs, whenever I'm processing vocal, I'm always listening for a few things. And one, I'm listening for the thing that kind of catches my ear the most is muddiness. So just from being in small boxy rooms, that's a trouble area that a lot of people have. Usually you'll get a buildup somewhere between 250 and 500 Hertz just depending on your room and where you're recording in the room and how well uh, treated your room is. So that's the first thing that kind of catches my ear. That's probably the first thing that catches a lot of uh, engineers ears. And that's why, you know, when you're a younger mixer, you're, you tend to cut way too much, but that is still the first thing that I listen for. And then I also just listen for, um, you know, how the vocal sounds in comparison to the record. I would say the third thing that I listen for is whatever reference tracks that I have uh, for the mix. Um, I'm listening to how the vocal and the rough mix sounds compared to any sort of reference mix that the artist may be going for. So as far as brightness or darkness or, um, you know, just the overall vibe of the, of the vocal. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Montana's vocal and try to listen for, you know, is the vocal muddy? Does it sound boxy? Uh, is there anything piercing? Um, as far as muddiness goes, I'm listening for anywhere around two to 300. If it's sounding boxy, then I'm gonna start searching for uh, somewhere between four and 600, 600 hertz. Um, if the vocal is kind of sounding nasally, uh, like, like they're sick or something like that, that could be in that five, uh, to seven, sometimes 800 hertz. Um, if it's piercing, like if it, if the vocal sounds like it's making your eyes bleed and like, especially if you were listening on like Apple earbuds, it would like just kill you. Then that's in that digital range, like somewhere between two and 4k. Um, you have to watch out for S's in like this around six, seven K. Um, so those are areas that I'm looking at cutting if I'm hearing any of those problems. As far as boosting, uh, I'm looking around uh, somewhere between the 2 to 4K for that articulation. Uh, if I kind of want to open up, uh, just make the vocal sound a little bit more open, I may do a pretty wide boost at around 5K. And to get air, I'm boosting somewhere up above 8K, usually with a shelf. Um, so yeah, those are just my general thoughts. Obviously it's different on every song, but I just kind of wanted to go over that with you. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into this last vocal and we can see, uh, where we can take it. Do not disturb on the door. Yeah. Do not disturb on your phone. Party next door on the radio. We are all alone. Cuddled up in the bed. Fingers all in my hair. Yeah. Baby, what you doing? You ain't going nowhere. Okay, so for the most part, this vocal is sounding pretty good to me. It's got it's got a little bit of tubbiness to it, so I'm going to see if a high pass filter will just clean that up a little bit. Um, I may need to go in somewhere between two and three hundred hertz as far as a uh, reduction with a bell, but we'll see what the high pass filter does first. Do not disturb on the door. Do not disturb on your phone. Party next door on the radio. We are all alone, cuddled up in the bed, fingers all in my hair. Baby, what you doing? You ain't going nowhere. Keeping you by my side, you seem like you're down for the ride. All right, cool. So that does clean it up a little bit, but I'm still hearing uh, something weird going on in the low mid. So let's uh, let's search for that. It's just a little bit of muddiness, and then there may be a little bit of just honkiness, maybe in the uh, I don't know, maybe seven eight hundred range. Do not disturb on the door. Do not disturb on your phone. Party next door on the radio. We are all alone, cuddled up in the bed. Okay, so this is a rough area because cutting around 250 hertz, 250 to 500, you have to be careful because it's really easy to make the vocal thin. And this is why, I, you know, I wish 
every song that I worked on, I wish I had the track outs for as far as the beat, because I'd much rather go into the instrumental and clear up that area versus the vocal. But um, we have to do what we have to do in this case. So right here, I'm hearing around 277. Uh, the vocal is com just conflicting with the beat right there. And I'm going to notch this out just a little bit. Do not disturb on the door. Do not disturb on your phone. Party next door on the radio. We are all alone. Cuddled up in the bed. Fingers all in my hair. Baby, what you doing? You ain't going nowhere. Keeping you by my side. You seem like you're down for the ride. I like what's on the outside. But I'm trying to see what's inside. Okay, so yeah, just about a dB and a half. Uh, the vocal isn't sounding too thin, but it's opening it up a little bit, and I'm not uh, hearing th that frequency clash with the beat as much. Um, so it's kind of just a give and a take right there. And then also I'm hearing something a little bit higher. I'm going to search for that. Do not disturb on the door. Do not disturb on your phone. Just to describe what I'm hearing right now, it's just something like... It almost sounds like she has a cold. It's just something kind of honky in the nose. Like, I, I don't really know how to describe it. I just can hear it. And I think that's important. You want to know what you're searching for. Just don't go searching for stuff if you're not hearing anything bad. Um, but kind of have an idea of what you're searching for. So that way, when you identify the sound uh, when you're hunting, you know what to pull out and what not to pull out. If, not, if, if a sound wasn't bothering you when it wasn't boosted, don't cut it. Do not disturb on the door. Do not disturb on your phone. Party next door on the radio. We are all alone. Cuddled down. Yeah, that's it right there. So around 824. So I'm gonna pull that out. Do not disturb on the door. Do not disturb on your phone. Party next door on the radio. We are all alone. Cuddled up in the bed. Fingers all in my hair. Baby, what you doing? Okay, yeah, so that was just a honkiness that was popping out at me. It was making the, the vocal feel disconnected from the music. And uh, I'm not feeling that anymore. So, um, yeah, so those are the two problem areas that I was hearing whenever I was just playing the uh, raw vocal compared to the beat. And uh, now I'm going to go into a boost mode. So um, right now I'm going to go with a pull tech. It's one of my favorite EQs to boost with. All right, so I'm going to start around 8K. I'm going to widen the bandwidth and we'll just see how it goes do not disturb on the door do not disturb on your phone party next door on the radio we are all alone cuddled up in the bed fingers all in my hair baby what you doing you ain't going nowhere keeping you by my side you seem like you're down for the ride I like what's on the outside, but I'm trying to see what's inside. Fuck what's in your heart. What is on your mind? Tell me what's going on. Don't want to waste no time. Do not disturb on the door. Do not disturb on your phone. Party next door on the radio. We are all alone. Cuddled up in the bed. Fingers all in my hair. Baby, what you doing? You ain't going nowhere. Keeping you by my side. Yeah, just making that bandwidth really wide on the on that top end boost uh, is kind of covering a pretty broad range of frequencies and uh, it's giving it that lift that I want. Um, the vocals cutting through, getting that articulation that I always like to go for, uh, getting some air. So yeah, it's a really simple move that I like to do with this EQ and it sounds sounds really good. 